Hi there. Now, in an earlier video, I showed you how to integrate integrals that took on this form, where a was a constant. And if you're unsure of how to do these, do go back and check out that earlier video tutorial. Now, what I've got here, though, are three questions, which is just a follow up from that video that you might like to try. So, as usual, I'll give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back, either fast forward to check out your answers and methods against mine or I'll take you slowly through each of the three questions. Okay? Okay, so welcome back then if you had a go. Let's see how you got on. Right, well, let's take this first one then. And in this first one, we would have the following, that f of x is x to the power 7, and g of x is 5x squared minus 4, and if you differentiate g of x, you'd get 10x. And so it has this form, except for that constant here. Instead of it being a 10, we've now got a 3. So we're going to need to make an adjustment for that. Well, ignoring that, let's just imagine that it was a 10x there. Then in the usual way, to integrate something like this, we integrate f of x. So the integral of x to the power 7 will be 1 8th x to the power 8. But remember, we replace that x with g of x. So that's going to be 5x squared minus 4. And that would be now always the power 8. So that's what it would be if that were 10x times 5x squared minus 4 to the power 7. But we now need to make an adjustment for that 3. It would have been a 10, but to get a 3 from the 10, we need to multiply it by 3 tenths. We want the 3, but we don't want the 10, so we divide it out. That's one way of looking at it. And you've got the constant of integration c. If you're still struggling with getting that constant here, all you've got to do is say, OK, I would have had 10x there, but now I've got to multiply it by some constant in order to make it 3x. And you can see that by dividing both sides by 10x gives you that that multiplying constant is going to be 3 tenths. All right. So all that's left to do now is just to clean this up. So 1 8th times 3 tenths, that's going to give us 3 eightieths. And so we've got 3 eightieths then times all of 5x squared minus 4 to the power 8 plus that constant of integration c. OK, let's move on now to the second question. Now with this one, First of all, we need to change it. We need to have the 7x squared, but we can change the denominator here to have 7x squared multiplied by e to the minus 2x cubed. And we're inter in integrating that with respect to x. So with this one, it takes on this form where we have the following. f of x is now e to the power x g of x is minus 2x cubed and when you differentiate g of x you get minus 6x squared and you can see again that instead of minus 6x squared we've got a constant now 7 times the x squared so we need to adjust for that constant and so in the usual way if we were integrating this and there were minus 6x squared here instead of 7x squared. The answer would be to integrate f of x, which is e to the power x, and replace x with g of x, which is minus 2x cubed. And that's what it would be, but we need to make that adjustment. So instead of minus 6x squared, we've got the 7x squared. So you can look at it as we want that 7, but we don't want that minus 6, so we divide it out. So 7 divided by minus 6 gives us minus 7 sixths. And then you've got the constant of integration. Or, again, just looking at it another way, which might help. 
is that we would have minus 6x squared. We need to multiply it by another constant, okay, to give us the 7x squared that we see here. Dividing both sides by minus 6x squared gives us that constant that we have to adjust by as being minus 7 over 6. And so there we have it there. Okay, we got the last one now, number three. And in this one, we see that it's based around f of x being x to the power four, where x is replaced with g of x, which is the cosine of two x. And if you multiply it by the differential of g of x, which is minus two sine two x, you can see it's very similar. Only instead of the constant minus two, we've got the three here. And so again, we need to adjust for that constant. So we start off by integrating f of x. Integrating x to the power four is gonna give us one fifth x to the power five. So you've got one fifth there, x to the power five. x is replaced with g of x, so that's cosine of two x, and that's all raised to the power five. But I'll just slip that power in there. Now, that's what it would be if there were minus two at the front here. So what do we need to do? Well, we need to multiply it by three over minus two. We want the three, but we need to divide out that minus two to correct for it. And we got the constant of integration C. And again, if you couldn't see it like that, all you need to do is say, okay, I've got minus two, okay, from here. I want it to be a three, so minus two times something gives us the three. And you can see that by dividing by minus two to both sides, you end up with minus three over two. So all I need to do now is just simplify this. So one fifth times minus three over two is going to give us minus three tenths. And so you've got minus three tenths cosine of 2x all raised to the power 5 plus that constant of integration c. Okay well I hope you're able to get these correct if not at least see how to do them. And that brings us to the end of this series where we've been looking at this type of integral. How to recognize it and how to integrate it by inspection or recognition.